Ladies, as you walk in the street, there are a few, if not a lot of signs that tell that you are classy, high value, and elegant. Today we will be talking about some signs that prove that you are a classy lady. My darlings, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, I am Dame Marie Franz and I help you become elegant and I help you become your dream self. So if you are interested in this type of videos, make sure to subscribe, like and share this video to someone who you think needs to start their elegance journey. Ladies, being classy does not only show in the way that you dress, but your behavior can tell if you were classy or not. It is important to know how to introduce yourself, how to carry yourself, how to dress properly, and how to behave properly. On to number one, we have you look classy. Ladies, I have to put this as number one because the first thing that is noticeable from afar is your looks, ladies. You have to look classy and presentable. Wear more dresses that are mid-length or long, that have beautiful patterns like flowers and also wear more earthly colors like brown, green, white, purple, red is also a good one, and light blue. Ladies, avoid wearing any disturbing prints or design like, for an example, if you are going to wear a t-shirt, it should not have any political theme on it. Or saying like be Republican or I vote Democrats it can be anything written on it and it may be offensive maybe not from your point of view but someone else's and I know you should do what you want but let's normalize not causing drama that can be avoided ladies learn to dress appropriate you can find elegant dresses from self-portrait Rebecca Valance um ralph lauren anna kwan and if you need tips on where to shop to get the look check out my other videos on glowing up moving on to number two we have you are respectful and you know when to talk and when not to ladies respect takes you a long way and everyone loves a respectful woman around as you walk in the room don't forget to hold your chest high and say good morning or good evening, whatever time it is. Then learn to smile. Ladies, when you smile and talk, you become a hundred times more beautiful and you look like a pleasant person to talk to. Ladies, don't forget that not every question asked needs a response or every statement made needs a reaction. As an elegant lady, Ladies, if you keep hearing the dog at the background, I apologize for the noise. I think it's the neighbor's dogs, but let's get right to the video. As an elegant lady, you should study people's behavior and your own behavior so you know when you are being triggered or tempted. Know your weakness and make that your strength. My darlings, no one has power over you until you give them power over you. Then you are not prioritizing yourself, but them. And you focus on their happiness and not yours and that is wrong ladies only you can drag your legs so you call the shots of your life on to number three we have hospitality is an essential to you ladies hospitality should not leave your side when visitors show up at your house be welcoming smile and let your house look comfortable and clean and it smells great Nobody wants to enter a house that does not smell great, and that is dirty, ladies. Clean yourself and your home or your room if you are a teenager watching this. Ladies, make a dish, even if they won't be there for long. Make a dish, and if you don't know how to, there is no problem and no shame to that. Just have a cater and let them make a delicious meal. Trust me, ladies, have a bottle of wine or juice too, and your I'm not going to stay too long visitors will thank you. And you will thank God for this amazing day. Ladies, remember, if they are to leave soon, tell them you don't let your visitors leave with an empty stomach, and they should at least have a bite. And trust me, many will ask you to put it away for them in a takeout box because of how delicious and generous you are. And ladies, one more thing before we move on is if someone shows up unannounced, 
Don't act like you don't want them. Invite them in if you are free and offer them a snack. This is why it's important to keep a snack nearby just in case. And if you are busy, then tell them politely that you are and you would love to have lunch with them tomorrow. This makes you look organized and important and classy. On to number four, we have you understand that everyone has a right to an opinion. My darlings, the same way that you don't want anyone to interrupt you is the same way that you should not interrupt anyone's thought, opinion, or even speech, ladies. There's a saying that goes like, if two people are speaking at the same time, one of them is disrespectful. So ladies, you will all have a chance to speak. And when you do speak, don't make it sound like you are coming after someone. Respect their opinion while stating yours. Last but not least with number five, we have take care of yourself, your hair, your nails, smell, teeth, breath, clothes, you name it. Just don't walk out the house like you didn't even take a shower in the morning, ladies. Take care of yourself and trust me, you will win better when you smell, dress and behave better. Ladies, and a bonus tip is to not always be available. People will respect you more if you have other plans, if you are not always available. This is why it's important to have hobbies like Pilates, the gym, golf, tennis, you name it. Just brunch, lunch, like just spend time with yourself. It's going to save you a lot of trouble. Plus, you are not going to have time to entertain drama. And if someone comes up with gossip, you're just going to look at them and say that, I don't know, like, I'm sorry, I don't know about this stuff and I'm not interested in talking about it and i would respect you even more if you just didn't speak about it near me and when you say that the person will put you immediately on a pedestal and remember if that person can come to you and tell you about someone else's business then they can surely talk about you to someone else and they will tell that other person that you do not entertain drama and you know this is just building your status they're just lifting you higher and higher without them even noticing but this also goes hand in hand you have to be busy and you have to tell them that you don't entertain drama and all this gossip and you really can't say that you won't entertain gossip if you are not busy so you have to be busy you have to keep yourself occupied right and most of the people that gossip is because they don't have anything else to do so ladies keep yourself busy and when I say busy, I'm not just saying go spend money. No, busy can also mean just take a walk, prioritize yourself and just take a walk. Just go by the park and just spend time with yourself. Journal, just simple things. You're just prioritizing yourself. To them, it may, when you tell them that, oh, I have to go on a walk, they'll be like, girl, like the, the news is so big. Then you can just tell them that, I'm sorry, but my life is big too and I have to prioritize me. Because the news that you're going to tell me right now is not going to benefit my health. It's not going to add food. It's not going to pay my rent. So I'm sorry. Like, what is your news bringing to the table instead of wasting my time? Okay, ladies, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it for you. I will see you all beautiful women next time. Bye.